I want to attach this to that. So let's see, I found this. This is from an old uh, uh, bailing machine, the pull rod. Uh, oh, it's so close, but oh, should I? Should I remove these or those? You have you have more meat there on that side. So I think I will prefer to to remove that. So in the other end I want to connect this to this quick attach. So what I need for that is to well done, something like this. I will get you a lo closer look at that also. So this is how the quick attach looks like on the bucket. So it's two rods with uh, spacing in between. And it's sort of squared. On the digger, you have a place for the one rod and a place for another rod. And here's a locking mechanism that's hydraulically operated so it can feed, push that out and lock the bucket in place. Maybe I should show you when it's running. So what you do, you hook up the first Squirt the bucket or the bucket control until you lift the front end of the bucket. Then you activate the hydraulic lock. Open and close. Open and close. And now it's locked in place. And then, when you want to change your uh, tube, you retract the hydraulic lock, curl back, back, and it will release. So, this equipment has two functions with four. Uh, hose uh, connected to them. Uh, this is a double acting cylinders, so you can push out the grabber and push it in. Uh, so you need to push and feed back and then you turn the other way around. Uh, the other function on this is that it can swivel, so in that case you need also two hoses one to push and the other one to let the oil f flow back. So it's left and right swivel. The problem is this digger only has uh, one or two hoses out. So one on that side and one on the other side. So you can go deep, deep. So I need to have something uh, to allow me to have put these two hoses into four hoses and I want to control that because I want to be able to swivel and grab swivel and release so I want to have it automatically from the cabin so this hose and this hose is operated by that, by that paddle so that's what I have as yes, extra hydraulics at this point. So these two hoses are going to the locking mechanism. So I have to have a switch so that I can operate the locking mechanism and then I have a switch that I can grab things and then another switch to be able to turn things. So that's the problem. 
here I put together the two uh, six two hydraulic valves that I bought on eBay each block activates one function by stacking them together I can create several functions I put some washers between them to seal and clamp them together To attach them to the digger, I drill some holes. And tap. done I put on the hoses this is the hoses from the digger from the hydraulic pump that feeds the system So now the hydraulic system is connected up again. Uh, here's the flow inflow of hydraulic uh, when I activate it in the cabinet. Uh, uh, if there are no uh, voltage on these two, they are in neutral position, and when neutral, they go through the valve. Uh, so if this is neutral and this is neutral, it will go out for the blue connection if that's neutral and that's activated so I'll, it will open and go to the yellow one if the first one is activated the flow will go out through these pipes and that's the bucket disconnect Joy. I know my way move it through with motions to check that uh, the hose, new hose routing is okay. So that will work. I will tilt the bucket. I have a hard time to see you. You see better than me. Seems okay. 
So I have to do like that. Still okay. And out. Still okay. And out. the bucket it's okay oh, now on to the electric bits uh, there are several like uh, after hand fix this is the start button it's a loose button I want to integrate that in the panel this is for the light, well, it's messed up. Two relays for the hydraulic. I also fixed a relay for uh, the lighting that was uh, uh, shortcutted with a only with a switch that overheated. So I put in a relay for that also. Button and open it up, so it's easier to press. Uh, and connected that to the hydraulic selector. Oh. I routed the cable along the hydraulic hoses out to the valves. The supplier had uh, this turned the wrong way, so I had to flip it over, put uh, the electric connection on the bottom instead of the top. The drawing on the seller's web page was mirrored, so that's why I had to redo it all over again. Secondary electronics doesn't move, and that means that second uh, electronic is activated. If I would like to attach the For the mechanical side, uh, I removed the coupling from oh the yes. grip. It's very close. See if it fits. Snug, that's good. Uh, need a sledge sledgehammer.
Yes. Now it will move. It's connected. I was pretty lucky there to have something like this lying around. Fits so good. So, okay, the other end, fixing the quick attach. Okay. <laughs> Someone has built a home inside there. Okay. So, step. To reinforce the beam, I put some support on the side. Roughly get them to shape. I see a lot of gap, but it's okay. I can fill it up with the welder. test so what do you think on my side oh it could be a uh, hand in too we had a look on that
remove this fast connector. So this is one half of a fast connect for hydraulics. I don't have that on my digger, so I will have to remove this. So I will remove this Connecting the hoses to the digger with a quick connection on the hydraulic valves. So, first run, let's see how it works. Uh, this is uh, the extended position and then I can first run and have it in the short position that we can get close to the cabin. Okay, I put it straight down I think. Uh, so, I can grip and open if i push in the bottom on the stick i can rotate it and it rotates really fast the gripping action is slow okay so i will uh, try to uh, take this and put it on the road there test it out Oops. Yeah, open up. Throttle a bit Good. Rotate it. Yes. And back. Okay. 
as you can see, much too big for this machine. It's almost as tall as the machine, but uh, it works. I would ha like to have a smaller, uh, smaller grip. Uh, it would be much easier to handle. But it seems to work. I can uh, use the toggle to operate the two mechanisms. So that works. Um, this was not a problem to have the grip without the push button. I think that's the better solution to have the to have the uh, grip as it as is now without to have to push the button to grip things and loosen things. Uh, and then I push the button when I want to turn around uh, or swivel. Okay. Uh, so I think that's it. Now I have a thing to lift the timber with. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.